Hello and welcome to the Physics Post 16 virtual open evening video. I'm Miss Campbell, I'm in charge of physics and also one of the heads of science. Why study physics? Physics is a very academic subject and it is highly rated by all universities. It really sets students apart from the rest because it is seen as such a challenging subject. It also provides you with a large number of skills. We'll use a lot of problem solving and reasoning while we are working through our problems. Numeracy is a huge part of the physics course and we will use technology within our practical skills and developing those um, through our communication as well. Having to communicate with each other, with me and through the written language. Careers in science are very varied and numerous and not just the ones you might think of. Physics can be useful for so many different things. Loads of examples are shown here. There are your typical engineering, research and industry that you might think of, but the skills that you gain will allow you to go into so many different areas, including things like publishing or consulting that you might not have considered. What will you study during your physics course? During year 12, we study the AS modules. So we look at measurements and their errors, which cover all the basics of physics. We then have the four main topics, which are largely building on um, the things that you've done at GCSE, with the inclusion of the new topics, our particles and radiation, which is where we start to find out some of the very odd things that happen in the very small and very large worlds of physics. During year 13, there are three topics that we look at. We increase your knowledge of mechanics, we look at all of the different fields, electric, magnetic and gravitational, and we look a lot at nuclear physics. And you then finally have the optional module. Now we try to, to do the optional module to suit the students that we have. So the optional topics are as seen here. This year we have done astrophysics, medical physics, engineering and turning points in physics because those suited the students that we had. Who knows what we'll do with your year? The practical endorsement is a part of the course where we assess your practical skills and you receive a certificate at the end. There are 12 required practicals and these could then be tested in your exam. And then we have our CPAC statements, which are the common practical assessment um, criteria that we have that go across all of the subjects in science. We keep a logbook with all of your practical work in and we try to do as much as possible. We do lots of other practicals, not just the 12 required ones. And sometimes things go a little bit further. Uh, my group last year decided when we were doing stationary waves, they wanted to see what was the biggest stationary wave they could create. And so we had a length of a string running right down the corridor that we managed to turn into a very large wave. Obviously, you will need to do your exams at the end of year 13. And the A2 exams are made up of three papers, as you can see here. So we have a mixture of multiple choice, short answer and long answer questions, assessing all of the different topics that we do. And then there is also a section assessing your practical skills and your data analysis, looking at those required practicals that we talked about. So. If you want any further information, you can look at our website, our Twitter or our Facebook and um, hope to see lots of you doing physics next year.